My name is Shia Bastida. I am a climate justice activist born and raised in Mexico. I am one of the many young people who have already been impacted by the climate crisis, such as when my hometown was hit by flooding in 2015. Shia grew up in the town of San Pedro Tultepec in Mexico. She's a member of the Atomi Toltec Nation. She's experienced firsthand the devastating impact of climate crisis. When Shia was just 11 years old, her town was hit by back-to-back -back years of climate-driven drought. Then the intense rains came, and then the floods. Her family was displaced, and she and her parents relocated to the United States, to New York. So Shia joined the Fridays for the Future movement and was one of the young activists who led their fellow students and people of all ages to strike in order to wake up the world to the impacts of the climate emergency and to call on leaders like us to take action before it's too late. The climate crisis is the result of those perpetuating and upholding the, the harmful systems of colonialism, oppression, capitalism, and market-oriented greenwash solutions. The 40 leaders who are in this summit are in the majority from the global north, which has historically perpetuated these systems. The communities who are the most affected, those who have endured displacement because of drought, flooding, wildfires, crop failure, and human rights abuse, are not fully represented here today. Solutions must be aligned with the fact that climate justice is social justice. Green economy with business as usual would severely affect frontline black, brown, and indigenous communities. You need to accept that the era of fossil fuels is over. We need a just transition to, to renewables worldwide so that we can stop emitting carbon and focus on drawing down carbon. But most importantly, all of these solutions must be implemented with the voices of frontline black, brown, and indigenous communities as leaders and decision makers. We demand that you stop fossil fuel investments and subsidies. We demand that Global North countries recognize climate migrants as such. We demand that governments enact policies to protect land defenders and acknowledge our right to peaceful protest and mobilization. We demand that countries increase their commitments to be in line with the Paris Agreement target of 1.5 degrees of warming, which is already a compromise for the Arctic, the Amazon rainforest, island nations, and much of the African continent. Here's where we hope that all countries replicate President Biden's commitment to cutting carbon emissions in half by 2030, because we must.